the first outing that we've had since lockdown because we've just tried to avoid all the crowds since the restrictions have started lifting so we thought today would be a great opportunity to um, go and have a picnic near the dam and uh, hopefully there won't be too many people there but we'll see how we go. Got some yummy snacks from the bakery. The kids got some little treats. from home today I work from home at the moment um, while all of this uh, these restrictions are in place David has taken our cat bugs to the vet this morning he um, has a growth on his tail which has come up in the last month unfortunately um, has gotten to the point where the vet has recommended that his tail be removed Bugs is 12 this year. So we've had him for quite some time before the kids were born. So um, he is our first baby. And I just keep thinking about the fact that when he comes home or when he wakes up, he's gonna realize that um, he doesn't have a tail anymore and he's not gonna understand people um, say that cats are very resilient animals but I'm just all I can think about is 
that he's going to wake up and think, what have you done to me? Um, Bugs is very much um, an important part of our family, so I think that um, this is going to be an, a very big adjustment for him, but also uh, the kids. We tried to explain to them last night that Bugs is um, not well and he has a sore tail, so he has to go to the animal doctor and he's going to have his tail removed because that's the best thing for him. Um, but as Austin um, has autism, it's very difficult to have a, um, a conversation um, of that level with him and know that he understands. Austin is five uh, and that's still quite young to um, be able to understand that sort of um, situation, but because he is um, on the spectrum, there are uh, certain levels of communication that he struggles with. So it's not until that he will be able to visually see what's happened with bugs that I think that he'll start to grasp um, an understanding of what's going on. And Elsie's only two, so she is oblivious to everything. <laughs> Bugs will be coming home this afternoon. The growth is quite low to the base of his tail, so there'll only be a couple of centimetres that could remain. Um, but I'm sure he'll be able to adapt and uh, it's a better recovery period for him. The vet said that it's the best um, path to take for him treating the growth and um, treating bugs due to his age as well. <laughs> no, it's not funny, darling. He didn't know what to do. Hi guys, I just got a package delivered from Vitable. It's my first purchase from that company. Um, I've been looking at various um, vitamins and things like that um, to boost my energy, my concentration, um, help with my hair and skin, um, improve um, just my general overall well-being. But I've always had that issue of not knowing what I'm really putting into my body and what I need to look for when I'm standing in front of that great wall of vitamins at the chemist. So this is a really good opportunity for me to start understanding exactly what these vitamins do for my body. And hopefully I'll, after my 30 day um, trial, it, I'll have improvements um, and then decide how I want to go from there. to test out the um, different vitamins from Vitable. So I have in my little pouch, I have biotin, uh, cranberry, fish oil, uh, ginkgo and uh, vitamin B12. So these are all vitamins in my booklet. It says exactly uh, what's in each packet how many tablets um, per day 
and goes through all of the benefits for uh, each individual vitamin. So it says fish oil uh, is good for your heart, brain, diet and immunity. B12 is for energy, brain and diet. Uh, the cranberry is for lifestyle. Biotin is for hair and skin. Uh, ginkgo is for brain and stress. So they're all areas that I um, highlighted when completing my uh, questionnaire on their website that I wanted to improve. So they've tailored this specific pack to me and I'm hoping that over the next 30 days I might see an improvement in my overall well-being and um, decide how I want to go from there. So I'll update you all on how I'm feeling over the next month and whether or not I notice a change in myself as well. So I'll keep you updated. Today David, Elsie and I went to Costco. We got the roast chicken which I'll cut up into pieces and put in a container for lunches. We thought we'd grab the new cinnamon scrolls to try. A pizza for dinner tonight which we'll eat the leftovers over the weekend. Uh, the two for $9.99 bagels uh, and I'll freeze what we don't use immediately and we'll keep for breakfast. The almond butter for smoothies, a large packet of the uh, marshmallows that I'll melt down and put in Rice Krispie treats. We love their large bag of coffee, uh, which is a lot cheaper than buying it from Woolies. The pasta, got some ranch dressing. We also had run out of the uh, table salt, so we got a bottle of that. And um, this week we thought we'd try the pickles. We got the large family pack, the three large family packs of Tim Tams, the greens pancake mix. Dave picked up a packet of the steak strips and the kids love the popcorners. We also uh, got the two kilos of pizza shredded um, cheese and we put that in a lot of recipes. The ham and the shortcut bacon was on special so we got uh, one each of those. The Swiss cheese, a large packet of the chicken thigh fillets which I'll break up into four or five meals, uh, some chicken wings for Dave and the corn fritters and the large packet of frozen banana were on special this week as well. I thought that I'd grab this uh, pack of reusable straws to put in my handbag because all of the other ones we have at home always seem to end up in the cupboard.